Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to do a walkthrough of how I do long exposure steel wool photography. To start, we're gonna talk about a couple things you need and what I use. So the first thing you need is something to hold the steel wool. I use a whisk, it's like a dollar at Walmart. You can get them anywhere. Make sure you get all metal. If it's plastic, anything, it will melt. So all metal, whisk, they make some specialty things for this, but this is a dollar and it works great, do that. Uh, next thing is obviously you're gonna need some steel wool. So the, uh, the fine works pretty well. I've heard things about different thicknesses, but I've always just used fine. Um, and then something, some kind of string to attach. I don't know if you can see it because it's pretty dark out right now. Um, but I just have a carabiner clip to this. Usually I just tie a string, but I had this little contraption laying around, so we went with this. Um, and basically what you're gonna do is light the steel wool. Very important to light the steel wool toward the top of the whisk. If you light it at the bottom, it will go out way quicker. So everything just kind of goes and it's done and that's it. But if you light it at the top, it'll last a little bit longer and you'll see what I'm talking about in one second. Um, so what you're gonna do basically is take this. Uh, mine's a little long, so I wrapped around my hand and then I'm gonna light it and start spinning it. When I start spinning it, I try to time it so that I start spinning it at a perfect circle whenever my camera goes off. I actually got a, a buddy with me today, shout out Bryce, appreciate you, uh, who's gonna be my button presser to make it a little bit easier. You can do it with an interval. We're being stuck, so I gotta make sure I don't die, you know? Um, you can use an interval timer, but it makes it difficult to time it so that you're spinning it and it's on fire when the exposure starts. So it just makes it a lot easier if you have someone else that can help you. So it's not necessary, makes it easier. The more sophisticated you want to get, the more necessary that is. But again, you'll see that in a second. Um, the video is going to get kind of dark here. We're going to go through some stuff. Basically what I'm going to do is go get in the spot. Uh, have him time it up so that he's taking the picture as I'm spinning. I always use a, this bird is pissed. That's what that is. Oh yeah. Uh, I know, dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I, or what I usually do is I set a two second timer for the picture so that there's no sh camera shake introduced by pressing it. Um, and it just, it's not, 100% necessary, but I definitely recommend it. If you're doing it by yourself, you can do the 10 second timer, get in place and start your spinning. Depending on how close to the camera you are, it might be easy, it might not. Good luck. Um, next thing I'm gonna say is, I don't know if you can see my camera setting right here. I try to shoot over the camera. Camera setting right there. I try to shoot, can you go back to regular light? Just so it's consistent. Yeah. Uh, I try to shoot over the camera um, with the sparks just because if you shoot short of the camera, really all you see is the trails. So I want to see a little bit more of the scene. Um, and hopefully we don't piss this bird off anymore because he's fucking mad. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do this. Check it out. Um, it's going to get dark for a second and we'll show the results in a second. Any questions, make sure you drop them in the comments and we rolling. Cool. All right. You can uh, put your arm down now if you're tired. <laughs> So my settings for this shot are 15 seconds, f8, and 250. I think that's going to be a little too dark, so I'm going to drop the f-stop down. We're going to go f4.5 and, and ISO 400, see what that does. Uh, 15 seconds is pretty long, but with how this burns, it might go through, it might not. We'll see. Do you need light at you? No, I'm good. I have impeccable night vision. All right, you ready? No, you don't have a big. Oh shit. All right, go ahead. Just tell me when it stops. You're out. Yeah, but tell me when it stops, like when the picture stops. Good. All right guys, this will be the first exposure. I'll put it up on the screen now. All right guys, what we're doing for this one, and you probably can't see me, but you can hear me. Um, what we're doing for this one is, oh, Shit. we're dead. Yep. 
What we're doing for this one is he's gonna light up the foreground just a little bit to give it a little bit more texture. It's not necessary, but it just adds another dimension. Normally I would do a flash for this, but this will be a lot quicker, so yeah. Go ahead. So I'm gonna put, actually, these are the two pictures we just took. One has the foreground light, one does not. Tell me which one you like more in the comments, cause I'm curious. I like the one with the, the foreground, he likes one without it. So you pick, let us know. If this helped you out, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out and I appreciate it. But if not, I still appreciate you. Till next time, peace.